So Biblecore's origins come back from really probably 20 years ago as a uh, graduate project from my PhD at QUT. And uh, the origins really came out of a desire to create a device that could treat patients with severe heart failure. One Venture is a Sydney-based venture capital firm. We were formed in 2010 on the back end of the global financial crisis, supported by the Industry Innovation Fund from the federal government initially, and we've grown from 40 million uh, under management to now nearly $850 million under management. Healthcare is a, it's a global opportunity, um, and we see that um, our experience in the global markets brought here in Australia could be tremendously helpful, and I think that's borne out in companies like Biovacore. Well, Biovacore's uh, vision for the future um, is to create a device that is as good as a transplant or potentially better. Um, something that's available off the shelf to be able to treat those patients and get them out of bed and have them return to the daily activities with their family that they were used to um, experiencing throughout the you know, early stages of their life. We learned about the Biomedical Translation Fund in 2016, I believe, when it was um, promoted by the federal government at the time as a major initiative to address a gap in funding in biomedical innovation. And that was uh, taking early innovation through critical proof of concept and then into the clinical development stage. And there had been a gap in funding, and there still is a significant gap in funding that will take those sort of opportunities forward. So we learned about it when it was promoted, we applied for it. Um, it was a very competitive process. A lot of diligence went on for months and we were luckily one of the successful applicants. One of the things that um, that BTF fund really did do was give um, One Ventures the, I guess, the freedom to invest in an earlier stage medical device company. And medical device companies are very risky. Um, so therefore, by having some government support, um, it seemed like it changed the risk level of investment for One Ventures. Um, so having that extra funding um, encourages the uh, investment initially because their dollar is going to go a lot further um, to get that uh, and tax credit coming back. If the BTF didn't exist, uh, I think the number of opportunities funded in Australia would be significantly less and companies like Bivacord may not even exist. If successful, Bivacord could have a tremendous impact globally on the management of individuals with heart failure. There is no other device like this. The job opportunities that this project um, create are across many different areas, very clinical, scientific, engineering, business. Um, all disciplines need to come together to create a device like this. So the program really does have the opportunity to expand into all reaches of employment and create lots of job opportunities in, in very many different uh, disciplines. What Wright Brothers did for flying is what Bivacore will do for heart failure, having a completely different approach. Imagine a world where someone who's got end-stage heart failure no longer has to worry about waiting for a transplant. Having an alternative to that that's durable, that can be used in people with different body shapes and sizes and frames and can be controlled externally, doesn't need to have a line going into it, um, obviating the need for transplant and all the complications associated with the medication taken to allow you to have a sustainable transplant uh, is revolutionary.